So I came across this pretty awesome one card combo using Sublimation Knight. It's absolutely crazy. At the end of my turn, I'll be able to have an unbreakable board. When I say unbreakable, it's crazy. So if you guys like these type of content and you want to see more combos on my channel, make sure that you subscribe to the channel with post notification turned on. Also, if you guys want to help me out to, you know, buy cards for my budget lifestyle, use my Patreon in the description to support me as much as you can. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing that we're going to do is normal summon our sublimation knight. We're going to trigger its effect. We're going to um, equip to our saddle to feel um, or to the monster um, squeak knight. And then we're going to activate squeak knight's effect to special summon itself. We're not going to activate its second ability. We're going to go ahead and link summon into our noble knight using these two monsters. Then we're going to activate its effect to add to our hand. We're going to add something that we're not going to use like Dark Graffer. So we're going to add Dark Graffer to our hand. Now we're going to trigger its second effect. We're going to pitch four to the graveyard, which is going to be um, Sword of the Deep Seated, um, Moon Mirror Shield, um, Unicorn Horn, and the most important one, Divine Sword uh, Phoenix Blade. Then we're going to special summon to our side of the field, Armageddon Knight. Armageddon is going to be special summoning and it's going to activate its effect to send one from our deck to the grave, a dark monster. So we're going to send this one right here, the Lost Dragon. We're going to activate the Lost Dragon's effect in the graveyard to pay 4,000 life points to select one monster and special summon itself. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to synchro summon Power Tool Dragon. When Power Tool Dragon is special summon or uh, we're going to activate its effect. Uh, we're going to select one, two, three DDR, um, different dimension uh, recreation, recreation, reincarnation. We're going to add it to our hand. Then we're going to go to our graveyard. We're going to activate Divine Sword to banish our Armageddon Knight and our Sublimation Knight. Then we're going to go ahead and activate our DDR. We're going to discard the Divine Sword and we're going to special summon our Armageddon Knight to our side of the field. Armageddon Knight is going to activate its effect again. We're going to send um, Blackwing Zephyrus to the graveyard. We're going to trigger Zephyrus' ability to send the DDR to our hand to special summon it to our side of the field. Then we're going to go back to the grave and we're going to activate the Divine Sword again to banish Armageddon Knight and the Squeak Knight. We're next going to activate the DDR one more time. To special summon the Armageddon Knight to our side of the field. Armageddon Knight is going to send to our graveyard the Summoner Monk. Then we're going to link summon, or should I say XYZ summon number 60 using the Zephyros and the Armageddon Knight. You're going to trigger number 60's ability to special summon one monster from the graveyard in defense position. We're going to pitch these two to select summon our special summon Summoner Monk. Then we're going to link summon into our Queen of the Master Magicians using Summoner Monk as a spellcaster and the Noble Knight. We're then going to activate the Master Magician's effect to remove three counters from itself to special summon Summoner Monk in a defense mode. Then we're going to activate in our grave one more time the Divine Sword to banish Armageddon Knight and Noble Knight. It's going to add it to our hand so we have a spell. We're going to go ahead and activate Summoner Monk's effect to pitch the spell to special summon to our side of the field, Rescue Ferret. We're then going to Link Summon, use Saruja using Summoner Monk, Master Magician, number 60, and Power Tool Dragon. We're going to activate this effect to draw four cards and we're going to keep in our hand something important. So we're going to keep, we're going to send back reinforcements, this card, uh, and this. All right, we're going to keep reinforcement. We're going to send that. So we're going to keep Call by the Grave and reinforcements of the army. We're going to activate Rescue for its effect to send itself to the grave, or I mean back to the deck, to special summon one, two, and the big guy, Cyberstein. One, two, three. 
Then we're going to go ahead and synchro summon our Coral Dragon using the monsters that we just special summoned. We're going to trigger the Blackwing Steam the Cloak. It's going to special summon a token to our side of the field. We're next going to use that token and Coral Dragon to uh, special summon our Power Tool Dragon. We're going to activate Coral Dragon's effect to draw one card. Then we're going to activate Power Tool to select three charging cells. We're then going to activate the um, cloak from our graveyard to send to the grave Skull Dread. Special summon it to our side of the field. And then we're going to link off into uh, World Key Blade Master. We're going to activate Steam Cloak to special summon the token. Then we're going to activate Blade uh, Master's effect to add or set one World Legacy Succession card from our deck to our side of the field. We're then going to link off into this guy using the token and the link monster. We're not going to activate its effect. We're going to activate World Legacy Succession to special summon to our side of the field, Cyber Stein, Cyber Stein. We're going to activate this guy's effect to change the type to Psychic. And then we're going to activate Charging Cell. So now our Cyberstein is Psychic. We're going to pay no life points to activate its effect. We're going to first summon a Natura Exterior. Negate all spell and trap cards. We're going to also summon our Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. We're going to summon our um, Destiny Hero Dystopia. And then we're going to summon... Uh, this guy, the last warrior from another planet. So the last warrior is going to special summon and it's going to destroy all of my other monsters. However, I'm going to trigger my dragoon's effect to negate it by discarding um, a hero lives. And I'm also going to chain my um, dystopia to protect my last warrior so it doesn't get destroyed. So this guy triggers. Dark Jagu negates and destroy. However, my Dystopia saves this monster. So that's it, guys. This is the end board, as you can see right here. So we have a spell and trap negate. This guy negates every spell and trap cards, and it can chain to itself, which is pretty cool. I mean, it can chain um, on anything, even quick play. So if I activate, if they activate a spell card, I chain to negate. If they activate another one, I can chain to negate. If they activate a third one, I can chain to negate. This guy prevents monsters from being summoned. So it says neither player can summon monsters. So no kaiju, uh, no other monster. It's pretty crazy. The only thing that I think would be able to um, stop this field is Dark Ruler no more. It's, it's, it's an unbreakable boy, but not that unbreakable. So that's it guys, that's the video. Again, if you like this type of video and you want to see more, please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to the channel for future content. My name is Richie and I'll see you in the next one.